The focus in Durban at the Climate Change Conference energised people to start thinking green and Harlequin's Rugby Club in the Bluff have taken the concept one step further and have incentivised their teams to play for greener energy. Situated along a green corridor, the club aims to improve facilities whilst making a valued contribution to the environment. The youth side, which is the under 20s and under 19s, uh, we've gone green. It really came about with a gentleman down the road called Justin Vermark, who uh, owns Nature's Heaven and uh, the Eco Park on the Bluff. He, he really um, is everything green and uh, we've linked up with him. We've got youngsters under 20s that will be part of the Sharks Academy, um, living and residing at the, at the Eco Park in um, quite a, a unique uh, sort of setup really with, with log cabins and all in a greenery and, and everything is green. Yeah, in the new year, we've uh, obviously everyone's looking forward to yet another season here in Natal, and uh, we've got a lot of youngsters that uh, are going to be part of the youth setup. Um, and obviously, the fact that this new green jersey is, is creating a lot of excitement. Again, you know, anything to do with stash rugby players love, whether they're a full professional, international, or a youngster under 20 level. The sponsors aim to donate solar panels and energy saving equipment to incentivise Harlequin's rugby team to score tries and win matches. I think it's by far the first time that environmentalism reaches out. Up until now everybody has seen the greenies, the tree huggers, the save the whale fraternity as the far left asking for money, ask them to help. I think we passed the stage where green is a hobby. Green is turning into mainstream business and I think the more aware businessmen will see the value in it. I can understand that if we can build the green champions across the road and we all champion the same cause, we can achieve so much as sport and green together. I'm proud to say we're the first guys to have made the step and we hope that others will follow. An incentive Harlequins will no doubt look forward to.